Hi everybody and welcome to my 12th week pregnancy update. Today is Tuesday, March the 11th and I am 12 weeks and 4 days pregnant and the baby is about the size of a plum so that's around 2 inches long. Um, so for symptom, symptoms this week, um, it's pretty much the same as last week, still nauseous, still tired, still taking the medication although I'm running out I'm hoping to get some more tomorrow because um, without the medication I think the the morning sickness is just going to get a lot worse because even though I'm taking it, I'm still feeling it pretty bad, especially in the afternoon. Not to the point where I'm throwing up, but I still feel really nauseous. So, um, not pregnancy related, I have been waking up with a sore throat every day and um, my throat is just really dry and I have some voice loss and I'm not quite sure why that is, but it usually goes away after drinking water or eating. Um, everything that I eat, everything that I ingest, it always leaves a bad taste in my mouth afterwards. I have to constantly be drinking or eating something or having gum or candy, just something to leave a nice taste in my mouth because if I don't, then I'll just have a bad taste in my mouth. Um, I've also been getting some heartburn. It's not every day, but usually when I have um, like pizza or pasta, something spicy, it'll give me heartburn. Um, I had lasagna the other day and I felt it all day long. It was not good. Um, I've also been having some cervical pain and I'm not quite sure why that is. It's really, really mild pain and it's kind of like a dull throbbing, sort of what a bruise would feel like. And I did a little bit of research and it could be um, because of a weak cervix, but I haven't had any problems with my cervix in the past and my doctor hasn't said anything. Um, I've also been getting a lot of clear, sticky, like stringy mucus. Um, I'm not sure if those two are related at all, but I'm going to bring it up with my doctor tomorrow and see what she says, but I don't think um, my cervix is weak or anything uh, because she would have said something by now. And I didn't have any problems in the past, so. I've also been having some back pain, usually after cooking or cleaning or um, doing some sort of physical activity like going to dance practice or something. Um, I'm not sure if it's because I'm carrying a lot more um, in the back than I am in, like forward. Um, when I was pregnant with Madison, I didn't feel any back pain until like the end of the second trimester so I don't know if that's related at all. Okay so for cravings this week I have been craving peanut butter and I don't eat peanut butter often, but when I do, it's like the best thing in the world. It's so good, especially on toast or on those plain like rice crackers. Those are so good. Um, and I've also been craving like traditional um, First Nations food like crabs and cockles and just like salmon, um, seafood in general, stuff that is really hard to come by where I live. Um, and my only aversion is coffee. I still can't drink coffee. I can't think about it. I can't smell it. It just sickens me. Um, my maternity buys, I've only gotten a couple of things. I bought a shirt from Target, um, although it doesn't really look like a maternity shirt, but it's one of those shirts where um, it'll grow with your belly and it, it's not like too tight or anything. Um, I also got a pair of leggings from Old Navy, and they're the full panel, so they cover the entire belly because when I was pregnant with Madison, I got um, jeans with like a really um, small band, and those were just the most uncomfortable things in the world, and I barely wore them. So I wanted to get something really stretchy, really comfortable, that covers the full stomach, um, because I have a feeling this baby's gonna be really big. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. Last week we also um, announced our pregnancy to everybody we told all of our friends all of our family we put it on Facebook and we just received tons tons of congratulations and lots of well wishes and everybody's happy and excited for us and we're excited um, we're only three months in but we can't wait to hold the baby already so in terms of weight gain I've only well since last week I've gained five pounds and my waist has grown two and a half inches but I don't think that's very accurate because it's the end of the night and I've had a full day of food and I just ate not too long ago so I don't know if like a full stomach has anything to do with that but um, I am up five pounds since last week 
but yeah I think that's pretty much it um, I'm gonna do my first belly shot and um, it's still pretty early I'm not showing that much but um, my uterus should be um, sort of like growing upwards instead of outwards if that makes any sense so um, hopefully from now on I'll start to show a little bit more so I'll go ahead and so this is the belly at 12 weeks with my shirt up. Still not much there yet, but I read online that my uterus should be getting close to the belly button soon, so um, I'll start to see some growth pretty soon. So right now, um, I'll find out for sure tomorrow, but my uterus should be somewhere like right here. So that's what it looks like now. Okay, so that's it for this week's update. Um, like I said, once I go to the doctor tomorrow, I'll have a ton more information and um, some updates on the baby size and um, I'm going to try to get a little bit of video while we um, hear the heartbeat for the first time. So you can look forward to that in next week's video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.